and here we are again. It's now March the 25th, I think, Good Friday, and um, I've been potting up a few things and sowing a few seeds. So uh, you can see there I've just repotted some little tomatoes. I think that's an aubergine, that one. And I've repotted some little marigolds. I've sown some rudbeckia and sown some mixed squash. Robinsons, I've no idea what they're going to be. Uh, Keith, there's your giant marrow, hopefully, will grow. And in here I've got Robinson Cylindra beetroot, the favourite Bolt Hardy, and some Egyptian something which I can't remember. What's it called? Crosby Egyptian beetroot. And then in there I've just uh, repotted my kale and two lots of zucchini courgette. So that's going. And then when we turn round, uh, this space here, it's like a trench. It's dug out. I haven't done anything with it yet. So I normally grow four tomato plants, but this year I'm just going to focus on courgettes, aubergines and melons. And then there's all my little potted on various things. I've got carnations, sweet basil, dahlias, asters, things I can't pronounce, violas at the back. And then on here I've got uh, borage, geraniums, loads of geraniums, and loads of different coloured borage. There's some more brassicas. I've repotted some up, but I'll have to do the rest. Um, here I've got some more mag marigolds, I think, or tagites, one or two, tagites. Here's some sweet peas and my Robinson's uh, red flowering broad beans, which really need to go out today, so they'll be going out. I've got some lobelias potted on, some cauliflowers, and some fennel, some morning glory, um, ooh, more broccolis, and I don't know what they are. Anyway, the flowers. <laughs> They've got a label in, but it's at the bottom, and I've only got one hand. And here's my ones. Most of these I overwintered, sown from seed. Uh, Cosmos there, and um, Antirhinums, again, all done from seed. Here I've got hollyhocks, uh, centurias, as you can see they're enormous. Wait till I show you my flowering cosmos. In my coal frame, and look, flowering cosmos. All sown from seed way back in September, October time. I have some geraniums. And some marigolds, some more antirhinums. I've got some giant cabbage there, but they've literally only just gone in. So I'll do something with them when they get a when I get five minutes. So quite a lot going on. There's various things under here, sweet peas. I must find somewhere to now start putting them. Hello. It's uh, Easter Monday and I just thought I'd show you the inside growing things I've got because you really haven't seen these before. Uh, you can see here I've got tons of tomatoes as you can see, various sorts. Uh, these big ones I've just repotted, these are my overwintered chilies and as you can see they've got some quite decent growth on them. And around the back here, you can see there various things growing. And a load of chilies I've brought on from upstairs in the grow tent. Various sorts. So that's that. Um, here I've got my Sarko mirrors. Uh, they're obviously waiting to a little bit warmer because it's a bit cold yet. And Southpaw Davy, uh, I haven't sent them yet, but I am doing a, 
uh, tomorrow, hopefully, Tuesday, so that's the day after bank holiday. Okay, then on, obviously that's the table, so yeah, that's one table. Then over here is my sweet corns. Now, as you can see, they've not all come through. Uh, the variety I've got is called Sweet Nugget. I don't think you can see that very clearly. Uh, sown on the 7th of March. And it's now Easter Monday, so I've got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 come through. Which isn't bad, I probably don't need more than that for my family. Uh, here, these nasturtiums are growing wild. And there's some centurias and corn, cone flowers, no, corn flowers, so that's good, and then here you can see all my tomatoes <laughs> and various other things, because um, they get the light here when of course it's sunny. These are my giant veg, as you can see there, they're growing quite big. And various chilies and various tomatoes in different stages of growth. You can see there I've got quite a lot. Okay. And here. And this is one of my giant leeks, but it needs repotting, so that's going to happen very shortly. Of course, on top of the washing machine, I have more going on. Now, these are things like nasturtiums, antirhinums, pansy blacks, larkspurs, and various other things. And these are my peat pots. I'm going to be growing some more chilies and tomatoes in. So, as you can see, there's quite a lot going on. That's the view. Panoramic view all the way around. Um, of my kind of backyard. And if you look up in the sky, you can see it's quite miserable. Okay, so we'll see you later. And I'll give you an update of the greenhouse. Just thought I'd give you a little look at my herb truck there it's uh, coming along I actually kept them all in pots now in between all these I'm going to grow other things so I've got curry plant and blue hyssop and variegated marjoram these are the ones that were outside the greenhouse in my earlier videos so you can see now they're in the veg truck and it's quite big that veg truck Under there is the straw and manure and compost, no dig. It's quite a sheltered area there, you can see the wall. This used to be a wall because the other side of it used to be a pig shed. It used to have 200 pigs in it. So it gets the shade, so I'm going to plant some perennials there. I've got plenty of those that I've grown. And there you can see all my beautiful, beautiful... daffodils and there are some crocuses in between I don't know whether you can see the little bits of blue in there and this sorry thing is my asparagus bed and as yet absolutely nothing so I don't know what's happening there hopefully something will happen shortly now this is one of my other onion beds and you'll see there some growth now this is Japanese mooly so it's gone to seed as you can see so I'm gonna pull one up and you'll see what it's like so there you go it's radish lovely I'm gonna pull the other ones up you can see there they're quite big About four to six inches big and they taste absolutely lovely um, easy grow because the Japanese, so they're used to cold climates. This one, there you go. They'll be nice and a little. This one won't be as big, but it's gone to seed, as you can see. So they're coming up now. Oh, look, a little tiny one. And finally, 
these last two. There you go. And this very small one, which I don't expect much from. Oh, look. Bill, look who's come to stay. It's Jonty. Naughty Jonty. Looks like Jonty's got some babies. Now, we don't want many of those hanging round. So we know where Jonty's going, don't we? I won't show it on video in case there's little children watching. But he's going to Jonty Heaven. So there's the radish that I rescued. I put a bit of salt on the plate. Mmm. Mmm. Absolutely lovely.